In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, discovering one's ancestry can be a fleeting thought, a hobby, or a passion. Well, for one woman with Motown area ties, the technology of DNA testing confirmed her roots and led to so much more. Nicole Persley grew up in the South thinking she was white. That is, until, as a University of Michigan student, Someone asked me which one of my parents was black, and I laughed, and I said, neither. I'm like a white girl from Virginia. So she did some digging. DNA analysis, which pinpoints ethnicity, confirmed she's African American. Also, she discovered her paternal grandfather, Dr. Alonso Bond Pursley, was black and a graduate of the University of Michigan Medical School in 1915. Michigan archivist Brian Williams is in the middle of the school's African American Student Life Project. As we learned that he was African American, that was a really fascinating thing. It's part of a project we've been working on to identify uh, all the African American students that have attended U of M from its founding through 1970. Dr. Persley was already on their radar, so I passed along their findings to Nicole, his granddaughter. This is so amazing. She saw his date of birth for the first time. October 15, 1890. Macon, Georgia. His handwriting for the first time. His handwriting looks like a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> His love of a well-known Michigan sport. He wrote in requesting, uh, I am interested in receiving your football announcements and ticket information. So he was into football. Yeah, go blue. And his graduation picture from medical school. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this photo. Oh my gosh, I see a really handsome young man <laughs> who looks extremely white. And in Nicole's family, there's always been a question of whether Dr. Persley identified as African American before or during medical school. I thought that he went to University of Michigan as a white student. Now Nicole's grandfather died while her father was a teenager. So her father and immediate family did not know about their African American heritage let alone whether Dr. Persley ever passed for white. I was the first person in the family to question it. But Brian Williams and his team found evidence to answer that question, including where Dr. Persley went to undergraduate school. He attended Lincoln University, which is a historically black college. Where he lived while in med school. Where he lived and um, it's kind of a traditional African-American area, the old fourth ward. And being featured in the NAACP's Crisis Magazine. Magazine of the NAACP, the Crisis Magazine, uh, founded by W.E.B. Du Bois, would do an annual educational issue and they'd highlight black graduates. I'm really getting emotional right now. I, I seriously think I'm feeling a cry a little bit. This is, this is pretty deep. So it appears in the early 1900s, Dr. Alonso Bond Persley enrolled, studied, and earned his medical degree openly, proudly, as an African-American. I, I love that. That makes me feel even more proud of him. I've always had compassion for him, but that really makes me have more compassion for what he had been going through. I showed her reaction to researcher Brian. That's moving for me. That's a very affirming moment as an archivist, that somebody's that moved, you made a connection, uh, she can see something that her relative wrote. Um, just her, yeah, that's a great feeling. Over a century after his graduation, through research, DNA analysis, and this discovery, his granddaughter feels even closer to him. I give him a big hug. <laughs> I've always wanted, I'd say I've always wanted to meet you and I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud that you're related to you. Wow. Such a moving and interesting story. Uh, you know, when I first started working on the story, I found Brian Williams after m learning more about Nicole Persley, put them together through email and also by telephone. They haven't met personally, but she plans on coming back here. Really? To uh, Southeast Michigan. She lives now in Florida with her son. She plans on coming back here and actually meeting uh, Brian Williams and discovering more about her grandfather's time here in Southeast Michigan at the University of Michigan. And he also settled, Dr. Persley did, yeah. right here in Detroit. Is that right? Wow. That's right. Dr. Persley right here <laughs> seeing patients. That is wonderful. And she'll meet the archivist then who has all the evidence right there for her. That's she'll, right. She'll see it up close. That's right. She'll see it up close and personal and actually be, uh, share more of it with her family members. So meaningful for both of them. And I think really inspirational to all. No matter right. what your background happens to be, just asking some of those first questions, that first step of, step of exploration yeah. can really lead to some amazing discoveries.